Thank you for choosing Ercolina for your bending application. Ercolina's innovative patented mandrel system is designed to produce high quality bends in tube, pipe, and other hollow profiles. You are now ready to begin programming a mandrel bend. To enter the mandrel bending mode, depress Menu. Press the plus or minus keys until the display reads Mandrel Bender. Press Enter to confirm this. The display should now read Enter Password. Depress the cursor nine times. This is the password to access the mandrel bending program. Depress Enter. The display now reads Mandrel Bender. The yellow LED indicator will light up to confirm the mandrel bending setting. Next, you have to enter the data entry mode. To do this, depress Menu. The display reads One Data Entry Mode. Depress Enter. Your display should look like the one shown here. GRP refers to the group or program number. RPM are the speed spindle rotations. MDRL determines the degrees before the end of the bend that the mandrel should retract. MAS determines how the mandrel advances before the bending process. A setting of zero is recommended for alloys, copper, and soft aluminum. A setting of one is recommended for mild steel applications. Next, you have to select the desired program number. Depress the plus or minus keys to change to the desired program. The display will periodically flash the following message. To input data, push asterisk for three seconds. Go ahead and depress the asterisk for three seconds once you've selected the desired program. Now you will enter the bend angle. The cursor will blink over the bend angle position, prompting you to enter the desired bend angle. You may enter the bend angle by pressing the plus key or by using one of the quick preset angle buttons on the touchpad. Once finished, press the Enter button to store your bend angle. The display will prompt you for an additional bend within the same program. Should you require additional angles, you may enter it in the same manner. Once you have entered all the bend angles for this program, depress Enter. The display should show the data you entered, similar to this screen. Next, you'll have to set the mandrel retraction value. Depress and hold the cursor button until it flashes under the MDRL position. If you don't have a recommended setting from the factory, use the value of 3. This value will allow the mandrel to start retracting 3 degrees before the end of the bend. Depress the plus or minus key to set this value at minus 3 degrees for the initial bend. Depress the Enter button when finished. Next, you'll adjust the MAS, or Mandrel Automatic Sliding Setting. A value of 1 enables the mandrel to move back and forth slightly prior to the bend to assist in seating the mandrel. A value of 0 allows the mandrel to move forward without play. Depress and hold the cursor until it flashes under the MAS position. Depress Enter after the proper settings have been selected. You have now completed a mandrel bend program. To edit your program, depress the asterisk. The display should show the settings you have entered. Depress and hold the cursor to select the value to be edited. Press the plus or minus key to change the value. When you're finished, depress Enter to store the changes. You're now ready to perform the first bend. Prior to bending, make sure the programming light is off on the display panel. Depress the foot pedal. The clamp will close, the mandrel will move forward, and the bend will advance to the desired angle. Note that the foot pedal must always be used to operate the automatic bend cycle in the mandrel bending mode. The wiper die may need adjusting during the bend process. Allow the wiper die to find its own position during the first 15 degrees of the bend. Then, tighten the die securely and continue the bend. Poor wiper die adjustment may result in wrinkles in the bend. When the bend is finished, depress the foot pedal to retract the mandrel return former to the zero position and open the clamp die. Should the mandrel fail to retract, keep the pressure and clamp die closed and increase the pressure of mandrel retraction 
by loosening the nut on the regulator and adjusting the set screw with a 4 mm hex key. Note that all mandrel functions can be accomplished individually by depressing the appropriate key functions in the order of sequence. To exit out of the mandrel bending mode, depress the menu button twice. Depress the plus button, then depress enter. The display should now read forward C bend die. Urkelina, beware of imitations.